very funny. Get that out of my face. Get that out of my face. It's not in your face. It's in my eyes. What is it? What is it that's in your eyes? That light in the, your camera or whatever it is. Is it a camera? I think it is. I thought it was a phone. Well, maybe it is a phone. Maybe it is a phone? What do you got to say today? I've mean, got nothing to say to What you. is today now? I don't know. Today is July the 21st, 2022, and we are with Mom, Grandma, Alma El Ellis, and what is your address, Mom? I don't know. Yes, you do. I don't know where it is. Tell me your address. 219 Douglas Avenue. Avenue, and Frankfort, Kentucky, 40601. How can you remember that zip code? Oh, I remember. You can remember the zip code, but you can't remember if Andy Griffith is dead or not. Is that right? I don't watch him. Either. You don't watch Andy Griffith? He was just on. I know, but is he, is he dead or not? Yeah, he's dead, but he's still on TV. He's as live as you and me on TV. Don't you think? Probably. Now, who was up here the last two weeks with you? George Lapring. Who? <laughs> was that an old boyfriend? George Lapring. Is he an old boyfriend of yours? And, uh, let's see, what's the other one's name? And Swingletree, what's his name? I have no idea who you're talking about. Tell me who you're talking about. Joe Lapring and something Swingle Tree. <laughs> I have no idea. Where were these people? They were just people that... In people, town? People tease you. Well, you hear that. Those people would tease you? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. When you were little? Yeah, we were little and we tease each other. And call what? Call each other names. And what did they say to you? What is your name? That's what Joe they. Lapring. What is John your? John Swingletree. <laughs> that I have never heard you say that. You never have. No. I've said it a lot. Never, ever, ever. What you looking at? My fingernails. Are they long? Yeah. Longer long. than they've ever been, right? That one. You might need to cut that one off. Is it broken? Yeah. Are you going to eat your chicken? Yeah, I'm going to. Why don't you take a bite? I'm going to have to. So who lives next door to you? George Laprings. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Mom, who lives next door to you? Barbara and... Powers. And who is she? And Stacy Powers. And who are they? He is my nephew and she's my sister. Is she older than you? No, she is not older than How me. How old is she? I, I don't remember exactly. How old are you? I'm too old to sleep by myself. <laughs> I thought that was old enough to sleep by yourself. You're not too old to sleep by yourself. You're too old to sleep with anybody else, right? If I had somebody to sleep with, I wouldn't be. <laughs> so, do you have a boyfriend? I wish I didn't. You wish you didn't? <laughs> I just said that. I don't Who know. is your boyfriend? I don't have no boyfriend. You don't? I thought maybe you did. 
I could have one if I wanted to. You think you could? Probably. What would you have to do? Go out here and walk down, up and down the streets. And do you think somebody would follow you home? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, nobody would have me. So did you tell me who stayed with you the last couple of weeks? Barbara. Not Barbara. Who stayed with you the last two weeks? Tina. Tina. And Tina is who? Tina Sue Berry. And what is, where does she live? She lives in Columbus, Ohio. And who does she live with? She lives with Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann. I don't mean Barbara Ann. I don't know why I said that. Who does she live with? Who do, Tina. Who, who does Tina live with? She lives with uh, Barry. Does he have a first name? David. David Barry. Does anybody else live in the house? You know, I don't know. I thought she had some people staying with her. Oh, yeah, but I don't know their names. Kathy and Michael. Is that right? And they lived there for like three years now. I should know it, but yeah. I don't remember. Really Long know. time. So what'd you do all day today? What did I do? Said you're on my butt. That's all? Ooh, that's rubber. Well, eat it, Mom. It's tough. Well, it's got a little meat on it. You might want to put a little meat on you. I don't need no more meat on me than I got. How much you weigh now? I don't know. The last time we went to the doctor, what'd you weigh? I don't know. 115. That's all I was. You lost seven pounds since the last doctor's visit. So you definitely need to eat. I need to gain some. You might want to. Might want to gain a little bit. Oh, I got a little Where are you heading to? My lovely leg. What'd you do to your leg? They just, it just, I can just touch it. And it bruises? Yeah. Well, don't touch it. Don't touch it too much. Are you gone? Yeah, I'm gone. It's not very easy to. Use on car. Well, just keep on rolling it best you can. And at least if it slips, you'll be able to hang on. I fall down with it. Mom, you need to use it all the way. What's that in your bag? That's your medicine. Oh. I had to refill your pill box tonight. Oh, did you? Yep. I don't like that yep. You don't like yep? No, I don't like it. Why not? Because, uh, I think it's cool. Holden said it. That's why I said it. What are you doing to putting that in my face. I'm not putting it in your face. I'm six feet away from you. It hurts my eyes. Well, I'm sorry. Got to get you on video, Mom. I don't got You know, I was, I was watching some videos of 92, 93. Remember those videos we watched the other night in my house? When you all came to my apartment and stuff? Well, there were more videos. You were up on top of the roof down in Owen, down in Owen County fixing the chimney. Well, yep. don't doubt it. You did it. Dad was videotaping you from the ground, and you were up there by yourself doing that. Do you remember doing that? I remember doing crazy things like that. Well, he, he said, Dad said something like, Alma, be careful now. Don't fall off that ladder. He said, well, we do have insurance, though. You say that. He did. Yeah. And then you got down. He said, oh, praise the Lord. She made it down. He said that? Yep. 
He did. Who's this crazy thing? That's just a commercial. I know. Okay, so tell me about uh, the your no, er my eyes. Tell me about your earliest memory. How old were you, and what do you remember? I remember staying down in Annapolis. Staying down in Annapolis. How old I were you? I hated her. Do you know how old you were? Probably five or six. Five or six. Okay. And what did you do down there? Clean her house. From top to bottom? No. Were you the only one down there? At the time, I might have been. So, so your other brothers and sisters didn't come down there? No, they didn't stay down there like me. How come you stayed down there so long? Because I was good. Because you were good? And you took care of the house? Yeah. So you cleaned everything up. What else did you do? I don't know. Did. did you cook? Yeah, I cooked. Them. You cooked all the meals? I cooked most of them. Now, did she have any children herself? Mm -hmm. She never had any children. She never had any children. Mm -hmm. So that's why she wanted to have you and Barb and Judy stay down there some? Barb and Ju Barb didn't stay down there. Barb didn't? And Judy did not stay down there. I Any thought... Any didn't like her. Oh. Okay. I don't know why she didn't like so her. So what about Ethel or Betty? Yeah, they stayed down there. They did? Before I did. Okay. So how long did you stay down there? Oh, don't ask me. I don't know. How many years? I don't know. How many years? Well, did you stay more than a year, two or three oh, years? Oh yeah, I stayed probably eight or nine. Eight or nine years until you got to be thirteen. Probably. And you stayed down. And you were the only one. Paul. Oh. Paul was down there with you? Mm -hmm. What did Paul do down there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you mowed the yard or not, but that's hurt my eyes. Mom, I gotta have it on to get you. Get me. All right, so how did you get down there? I'm gonna get in. Bill took me. Bill took you down there. Took did he down. come and pick you up? Yeah. Or did you run away? No, I didn't run away. I thought you told me one time you ran away. No, I didn't run away. <clears throat> so Paul maybe mowed the grass, huh? Paul maybe mowed the grass. I said Paul maybe mowed the grass. He probably And did. you were inside keeping everything clean. Yeah. So what did Aunt Ethel do? Sit on her butt. And just made and just made you work hard. Yeah. I had to clean the house up, mop the floor. Well, did you have your own room? Well, I'll put your hand down. I can't see you. It hurts my eyes. Okay, I'll stop here in a minute. Tell me about this, and I'll stop. Put your hand down so I can see. You. So did you have your own room? Mm -hmm. I think Betty and I shared a room. Shared a room and Paul had a room? Paul. Did they have a big house? Yeah, they had a pretty good house. And no stairs. So would you would you say they had some money? I'd say so. So what about your Uncle Gene? What did he do? Was he gone all day working? Yeah, he worked, but I don't remember where he worked. Mom, mom, head. I'll turn it off in just a minute. I just want to know a little bit about Uncle Gene, and I'll turn it off. Uncle Gene. So I how did he act when he got home? 
Was he? He, he was nice to you. Yeah. So what did what did Aunt Ethel do when Uncle Gene got home? Plus Daddy. Did she act any differently toward you and Paul and Betty? No. She was still mean to you? Even with him there? She wasn't too mean. Part of the time. Part of the time. Okay. All right.